I'm gonna do a couple things today. I'm gonna get in here to this 96 Honda Accord and uh, take off the heater control valve for the heater because it is not working. It's just blowing out cold air. Just held on by a screw that's like right up in there. Uh, and this is the heater control valve. It's like $45 on eBay. Uh, that's the first, well, that's one of the things. But mostly, I'm gonna be playing with my Dodge. I don't know if you guys remember, but this was an ugly, ugly green color. I just recently got it painted a flat black. So now it is flat black. And uh, I like it, looks good. I'm going to be putting on a new cat converter. Just got this uh, from AutoZone.com. Uh, MagnaFlow Direct Fit cat converter and just in case you don't know where this goes or how easy it is to change well there can be some difficult parts but for the most part it's pretty easy it is it starts right here travels under this bracket here's your 802 sensor the main body of the cat converter and it goes up to here where I've already disconnected it. Actually, I guess I disconnected it at the wrong place. So I'm gonna get up under there and make a another observation. But starts here, goes down this way. And unless yours is welded on, it's probably just held on by some little exhaust pipe brackets. to um, combat my stubborn exhaust pipe that didn't want to come off I cut it open with my Dremel <laughs> um, I didn't really have a cutoff wheel so I just used whatever little piece of Dremel tip I had so I cut it off and it's split now so I can pull it off uh, on this end just it just did not want to come off for some reason it's my O2 sensor uh, and I'm gonna have to do the same thing actually I can't do the same thing back here I have to figure out how to get this one off without screwing it up. Um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, I cut this uh, line and the pipe going to the exhaust. So. And then, after that, this thing just really slides right out. Let me see if I can sit this down on my chest and just, there we go. Right, let's get from up under the truck and see what we have. Whew. Very easy install. You can just get the old one out. So, this is the old one. Right next to the new one. Magna Flow Direct Fit Exhaust. Of course, uh, I broke that one earlier. There we go. Now in goes the new one. It just slides right in. And then I bought some new clamps to clamp it down. Um, I'm not sure of the name of them. But bought those. So now this one is going in. Into the large space that we just left 
up under the truck. Young group, but I'm going to try to do it again. You got some pressure, never played this. Would have some tremendous ability, or else it would be. Right here, going to slide up that way. Back in, we're gonna connect here. And that is that. I have the truck jacked up just so I can get plenty of clearance up under there. Um, on the front and back. So, in goes the new one. The new exhaust literally slides in in under a minute. Slide it in, and you are. Uh, you just slide it in place, and of course, you get your. The clamps, I'm not sure what they're called, but you're gonna put one here and screw it down. Put one here and screw it down. Mine looks a little ugly because of all the cutting I did, but oh well, it'll work. <laughs> all right, clamps are in. New exhaust pipe, I mean, candidate kind of converter. That's the O2 sensor, that's one. Um, the second one is right here, just plugs right into the side of the uh cat right here so you just screw that in with a 22 millimeter box in open end wrench and here's the second one like i said mine's a little scratch a little ugly because i cut into it but oh well i had to get the old one off that is it new cat converter on my 1998 dodge dakota